Yeah, go ahead. Good stuff. Got it. Uh, all right, Shalom. Those over here in uh, GMS Tampa Bay. And uh, first and foremost, one of all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushah, Bashem, Rukah, Vodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. And uh, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. And uh, we're going to go into a topic. Uh, you know, got to be sensitive with the YouTube, you know, because uh, say certain keywords, they're going to flag you. But uh, going into how, uh, you know, going to Esau, even so the white man, his setup is ultimately uh, a left hand side salvation he's setting up uh, with, you know, the major prophecy of waiting and anticipating for is MOTB. I read about that, which is the 13th chapter, verse 16 on down, and he's uh, conditioning people as it is right now in this time with the juice mandates. Um, you know, as uh, the Lord on the right hand side is, is doing miracles here in this people, um, you know, what you promised on to first, he's, he's elect and rest of the nation. Because right, according to El Shai, he's at position. As we know in the book of Isaiah, it says the whole head is sick, right? Our nation from top to bottom, uh, we need healing, all right? So going to Esau, even so the white man, uh, as we say, he's a physician of no value. Uh, he, uh, as we say, uh, surely you're turning things upside down, surely you're seen as part of clay. All right, what uh, the Lord claims, uh, well, not claims, but the Lord establishes righteousness, he does the opposite, you know? And he does really try to be a bad copy as he tries to exalt himself against Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know? Um, was our precepts coming in? Yeah, I got one, you know, because like the brother's saying, you know, basically everything that's happening in, in today's times, you know, it's it's already happened before, you know, and the scriptures talk about it in the book of Revelation. Um, no matter of fact, let me just get the point. Uh, Revelation chapter 2, and uh, I'll start at verse 12. It says, In the church, and the angel of the church in Pergamos, which is one of the seven churches of Asia Minor, it says, Right, these things saith he. Which had the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where in Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Now, the point of bringing that precept of it is you got to understand what was happening in Pergamos during these time periods, man. Okay? <clears throat> so it said, I know thy works, where in and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is. Now, you go into the history of what was happening uh, uh, over there in that a in Asia Minor, which is today known as Turkey, uh, in that city of Pergamos, or, or Pergamum, as it says here in the scripture, Pergamos, okay? You know, you had the uh, seed of Satan, basically where Esau had a judgment seat, so to say. Yeah. You had something? Yeah, the article. Come, come. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, he has a little article here, um, going to a Clepius. It says uh, snake god of healing, right? Which is what, which is what Antipas was prophesying against in those times, which is why he was killed, which is why he was a faithful martyr. Okay, because what was happening in Pergamum was these people were worshiping. The, basically, Pergamum was the capital of of of, um, of Asclepius. All right, as brothers getting ready to go into Asclepius being a Greek god of healing, of medicine. Okay, and when you look up Asclepius, I don't know if you brothers got a photo of it. But Asclepius, okay. the rod of Asclepius, go ahead and show that in the camera. The rod of Asclepius was a rod with a serpent wrapped around it. Okay? Which is, yeah, exactly. There you go. All right? There to, to uh, I believe it would be to the left. You see, and you already know, should know what that symbolizes today. Okay? Esau's salvation. Exactly. Okay? That's what it symbolizes today. Mm -hmm. Esau's salvation. Yeah. Which back then... What they were doing was they, they would have hospitals, so say, uh, and people would go there and be healed by snakes, okay, by, by, uh, uh, by, uh, you know, by, you know, well, I'll let the brother get the article on it. Got it. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, it says, uh, Clepius, snake got of healing. It says, uh, when the people of uh, Pergam Pergamum uh, needed healing, they went to the temple shrine of Clepius, the snake got of healing. It says everyone who entered the hospital is hospital complex passed a snake symbol. Somebody get the etymology of the word hospital one another reason. Go ahead. Um, it says everyone who entered the hospital complex passed a snake symbol and thereby credited any healing they would receive to the snake god. Yep, exactly. So so they would credit it to the snake god, man. You know, and something that we were listening to to the uh before prior to class, you know, Esau said that above some of these places they would have here uh, from here uh, enters no death, you know, roughly paraphrasing. So, and what Esau said, you know, it made sense. You know, they basically, he said that basically, 
they knew that whatever disease you had, it, it was going to be curable. Right. Okay, so basically, Esau, through Esau's deception, he would make it look like he had to cure you, which really he knew you were going to be healed either way. But people would go there and their with their minds believing that this is where I got this is the way I got to go in on to to be healed. They would go on, they would drink point, uh, 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 venom, um, snakes' venom. They would let snakes crawl all over them. They were doing all types of shit with snakes. And this is what Antipas was prophesying against. Basically, their medical field, <laughs> which is what we're in the state of. You know, which is when you go into the the you know we talk about we ain't gonna go into it, but. The Shystai stigma, the 666, okay? This is Esau's way of bringing about the stigma. The Shai, exiting out the Messiah, the, 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 the brass serpent, the true brass serpent, and bringing about his, okay, the Sai, okay, bringing about his serpent to bring about the stigma, which is the medical field. When you look up that symbol for the X, XI, the Sai, is like the brother just showed you, it was a serpent, okay? A coiled up snake, as it tells you. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and get that. Read more on the article. Yep, it says, uh, once accepted, patients were led through an underground tunnel to a huge treatment room where they went to sleep, probably after being drugged. Yep. Okay. See, so people were just going into these hospitals, uh, uh, taking all types of shit, believing that they were being healed, which is the same shit that people are doing nowadays. They're taking the, 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 the snake's poison injecting it inside of them, believing them that this this is what's going to heal them. There's no different. That's why the scriptures say, man, nothing new is under the sun. We're living out these the, the, the days that were written about, the things that men have been going for, because the scriptures say what? Things written before time are written for our learning. So the things that happened in this church of Pergamos is for our learning. Because they were battling that medical shit. <laughs> that was the chief city. Uh, uh, for that shit, people would go there from all. What they remember? We were listening to Esau. He said Roman, the Roman emperors would go there to be healed, so, to receive healing. It's the same thing as the last days. They're not just going to one specific place, but this is the this is the what Esau is pushing out here, man. Because now he's able to go out to he's able to reach out the four corners of the earth without having people come to him. Okay, go ahead. Yep, it says, uh, patients waited to receive a vision of treatment from Eclepius. Right, which now you wait for the doctor to come back after he envisions you. He puts you through the CAT stands, the MRIs, the, 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 uh, the, um, the doctor, the doctor come in and, you know, put this stethoscope on you and all types of bullshit and wait to see what he says. You know, go ahead. Yep, it says the patients waited to receive a vision of treatment from Eclepius which they would reveal to the priests, who in turn would prescribe treatments. Right, who would reveal it unto the priest? How convenient. Why didn't they reveal it unto the guy who was sick? Because <laughs> they knew that if they revealed it unto him, it would be, it never, never, nothing be, would be revealed unto him. So he got, of course, he got, oh, the doctor, said, you know what? I've been revealed unto by all them snake cells on you that you got a, a, a cleft foot. Here, let me break it right. Here's your, here's your medicine for the pain. Now they're telling you what? Now you're going to these, to these, these, uh, what did it say other than the, the, the H word? Uh, Hospitals? Clinics? Yeah. It takes treatments. Treatment, treatment centers. centers. Yeah. These people will come, these people go into these treatment centers in today's times, right? Receiving the, 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 the vision from the doctor, which what is the vision what the doctor tells them? They got the vid. Right. <laughs> hey man, you, you got that Crown Victoria 19 I see. Must have bought it when it first came out in 2019. Well, you know, you're going to be through now. Now you got to take this. Well, now they even tell you, you don't even got to have it. They just tell you, go get the thing. Go get that venom from the snake. Go ahead and just drink it. Because you never know what might happen to you. You might catch the thing. So that's what now they're telling you. You know, again, I got to record it again. No new thing. There is no new thing under the sun, man. That which is, is that which shall be. It's happening all over again, man. As the, the faithful martyr Antipas did, okay, he prophesied because he wasn't killed for, for shits and giggles because he was passing out fucking roses. He was getting beat. Antipas got killed because he was coming up against that medical shit that was going on back then. That wicked shit. Okay? Go ahead. Yep. Uh, and keep in mind, this is a man in the truth. 
All right, he knew about Yahweh Shai. He knew who the real brass serpent was, the true serpent that was gonna heal, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay, spoken of in John chapter three, going back to uh, the book of Exodus. All right, but go ahead. Well, I can get it to John three. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, John chapter three, and uh, verse fourteen. It says, "And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness." Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Yeah, and the reason why Moses rose that 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 brass serpent up in the air, Jake. okay, was because Jake was hurt. Jake was going through it. Jake was was caught up with them snakes. <laughs> they got bit by the fiery serpent, man. Which who's the fiery serpent now? Esau. Esau's that fiery serpent. He's biting all these he's he's biting you people, man. And instead of going to the brass serpent, looking upon the brass serpent, which is your house shy. Read that again, John 3. Yep, uh, John chapter 3, and um, verse 14, it says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted even up. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, and he is going to be lifted up. He is lifted up already. He's sitting at the right hand of the Most High, man. And those that believe on him shall be healed. Mm -hmm. But here we are in these last days to bring down these strongholds. Okay, because the, 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 the serpent that you people are going to for the healing is not the serpent that you should be looking upon. Okay, uh, I got the account of what the brother was going into. Y'all want to go deep? No, 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 because it pretty much just stated that the brass that the, the serpent that, that was lifted up, so shall the most high be lifted. But go ahead, I got some real quick. Uh, going to what the brother uh, speaking on John 12 and uh, verse 30, the point is verse uh, 32. John 12 and 30, Yahweh Shai answered and said, This voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Verse 32, this is the point. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. And that's what's happening. All men is being drawn unto Yahweh Shai, whether it's good or bad. And that's why uh, uh, ultimately, okay, when Yahweh Shai return, he's going to do the separation, man. Between the the the, the, uh, the wheat and the tares, okay. Uh, his, uh, well, so like real quick, uh, just to clarify on what the brother was saying, Yahweh Shai being lifted up, those that are coming on to him are those that are going to be delivered because they believe on that brass serpent. They believe that they're going to be healed through Yahweh Shai, so they're being drawn onto him. The rest are going to be drawn onto him in, the, in these last days when he actually returns. Because right now they don't believe on him. They're not. You don't got two thirds of Israel running to the Most High, running to your house shy. They're running to Esau's punk ass. Right, right. But the Most High is gonna they they they, they don't have no no um uh, no answer but to come to the Most High when He comes back through His only begotten Son, and they're gonna be judged mm -hmm. according to their works of unbelief. Uh, but finish up what you had, brother. Oh, that was it, bro. That was that it. Was it. I get the account, you know, which will. Got from John the third chapter, mm -hmm. which brother quoted about the fiery serpents. You know, oh, yeah, that brother had it. You had it. He oh, had yeah. it, but it, I mean, it was, you know, it was because it, it, it basically told you what it was, mm -hmm. and, and and that John three, you know, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, matter of fact, you know, just get it. You know, Spirit had to bring it up. Go ahead and get it. Okay. Oh, oh, you had whoever it. had it. Oh, all right. Well, well, if you had yeah, it already, I mean, yeah, yeah, go ahead and get yeah, it. Yeah, because they going to the beginning. This account says after because we're in the wilderness. This is, after we pass, uh, when Edom didn't let us pass, you know. Right, right, right. You know, uh, but uh, here it is the Exodus chapter, uh, Numbers, like Numbers chapter twenty-one, and uh, verse. I get to the point. So here, mm -hmm. verse four, it says, "And they sojourn." Wait, is it? Yeah, and they sojourn from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to come past the land of Edom, right? Esau, right? Mm -hmm. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way, you know, because you know they didn't believe Jacob's. Uh, Thinking about ancient Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, verse five it says, uh, and "The people spake against the Most High and against Moses. Wherefore have he brought us uh, up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness?" Yeah, and that that land of, of Edom too, man, is a big mountainous area too. You know, so Jake was, you know, probably coming up on the mountains like, "Damn, man, we just been through this desert now. We got to climb mountains and shit. The fuck? Exactly. <laughs> What the hell? I don't do all this. Man, hey, you do. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, numbers and, and, and like the brother was hinting to, you know, here it is. We in the United States and we have to jump over hurdles to get into the kingdom of heaven. The path onto the kingdom is as deep water on one end and a fucking raging fire on the other. Yeah. 
You know, hey, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, just to make a quick point, you know, Jake has, has lost the, uh, the the the, uh, the vision. Mm -hmm. You know, Jake don't have that foresight, man. You know, bringing up that point, you know, of Jake wanting to go back into Egypt because Jake don't see no way out. So that's why the, the chip is Jake's uh, 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 salvation, man. You know, and, and if he can't eat, if he can't feed his family, if if he can't provide for his uh, uh, household, what he's gonna, hey man, he gonna take the chip. Cause he don't have that foresight. He don't have the vision that the prophecies is. He don't have the vision that the prophecies is is is, is, is taking place. Right. You know, so he, he, Jake is relying on others to tell him what the vision means. You know, that's why mm -hmm. they go on. They they went to these right. to these uh, these these clinics yeah. in Pergamos because they didn't know what the hell was going on with themselves. So they were going to these doctors to to hey let me you know tell me something. These soothsayers, because that's all they were. They were nothing but witchcraft, just like Fauci. He's nothing but a warlock, right. telling you bullshit and then telling you here, here's the here's the med here's here's the solution. Drink it, yeah. you know, which is what they were doing in Pergamos. Niggas were didn't know what the hell. Oh shit, fucking my pinky toe hurting. Yeah. Might be fucking cancer. Yeah. Uh, let me go. Let me go to that motherfucker over there. That dude, uh, Antipas is talking about. Right. Right. Go check. He told me not to go take. Don't. He told me not to go over there and get that fight. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. But fuck it. You know what? I got no other solution. I can't keep waiting mm -hmm. on somebody who ain't gonna come. That's what Jake was saying. So they, what they were doing? They were going right to Esau's punk ass, mm -hmm. getting his solution, coming out thinking they were healed. Well, really, they were they nothing but swimming in fucking snakes, man. Swimming mm -hmm. in the serpent's juice. Yeah, because that's that's heavy. Because they knew it was wrong, but that the persecution was coming. Right. You know, so they saw, you know, Jake, uh, you know, getting persecuted for standing up because he had to worship the gods back then of uh, that Esau set up or unless you be uh, persecuted or you be put to death. You know, so same thing now. If you don't worship, like, you know, going to the relations, if you don't worship that for the beast in his image and take his mark, you're going to have to uh, put you to death. That's going to the prophecy, you know. We're going to, again, how the Lord has it on the right-hand side, you know, because that's why this is what we're going into, uh, you know, how Esau is trying to overstep the authority that the Heavenly Father gave Yahweh Shai, you know, exiting out. Uh, Yahweh Shai, you know. Uh, yeah, we get uh, Numbers 21, verse 5 says, And the people spake against the Mosai and against Moses, Wherefore have he brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth uh, this light bread. Right. And that spirit was so heavy during the time of the Romans that people weren't even complaining anymore. They were just going to East, straight to Egypt. <clears throat> All right? You know, being, uh, uh, being Esau. Yeah. Okay? They were going right to his punk ass for the answers, for the yeah, solution. Yeah. Instead of complaining, Jake was already through at that time, during the time of the Romans. Going back to the end of the Greek Empire, Jake becoming Hellenized, depending on Egypt, trusting on, uh, on Egypt, okay? Trusting in horses because they are many. By the time of, uh, of, of 70 AD, when, you know, and after that, you know, Jake was completely through. They were already believing on other bullshit. But uh, imagine now, 2021, where, where Jake has seen nothing but miracles being done by the by the staff of Asclepius. Nothing but straight up miracles, which is spoken of in Revelation 13, man. As a matter of fact, get that, uh, 13 and 11, real quick, book of, or 14. Might be 11, but. Yeah, the miracles. Yeah, yeah. See them by the way of the miracles? Yeah. It's 11. Oh, verse 14. Yeah. All right. This is the book of Revelations 13, verse 14, straight to the point. It says, And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Yeah, there you go. You yeah, it's uh, deceived, you know, because again, uh, he was going to the temple in uh, Pergamon. He, he saw a set of people that he knew would be taken care of. You know, they knew he would get through it, you know, so he drugged them, put them to sleep, and then after the, the test, they'll give a testimony. Saying, oh, the, the God of so and so, the God of Clepius helped me, healed me. You know, and the same thing with uh, what Esau was doing now, the, the chip. Oh, and I fixed fix my back. You know, now I can walk, now I can do these things, you know, giving uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, credit to uh, Esau's left hand technology instead of it uh, onto the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. going back into it. Uh, Revelations 13 and uh, 14, it says, by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them yeah, that the sight of the beast, the beast is back here again, man. He was doing it in the sight of the beast back then, which is the Roman Empire. 
okay? You know, they were doing that through, through the, even though, you know, the uh, Asclepius goes back to Greek mythology, but it was the same fucking niggas pushing, propagating that shit. Esau and Romans. It was the same Edomites. It was Edomite, Edom. Okay? And he was propagating that same shit, man. Deceiving people by that shit. People, because, again, Pergamos was a very... No well known city back in those days. That was a city that people went to because of what? Because of his medical so called advances. People would go there and so called be healed. But you had men of the Lord prophesying against it. Just as you have in these last days prophesying against this medical shit, man. Yeah. And that's why, you know, going to today, he saw only promote the, the people that uh so to say got healed from the Jews instead of people that's dying. You know, I mean, we'll probably die going in that temple, all them damn serpents, and yeah, deal with that Jews. But they don't write that down because they'll discredit their system, you know. But I'll uh, finish with you. Uh, Rizar uh, says that they shall make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which it, it was healed by the sword. It was healed, or it was wounded by the sword which that Roman Empire fell. But now it's back again. And it's doing the same, it's propagating that same bullshit once again. You know, because going into that shy side stigma, you know, is, is, is being for that shy side stigma being the 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 indicators of how Esau would bring about that mark of the beast is being pushed out here, man. Okay, the Most High is being taken out of the picture, and Esau's uh, uh, um, medical industry is being uh, in, uh, uh, implanted on Earth to bring about the stigma. Okay, but again. Esau Edom is pushing himself out there to be that brass serpent that the brother read about earlier. About, you know, he talked about also about Yahweh Shai being lifted up. Well, Esau is lifting himself up. Matter of fact, uh, brother get um, 2 Thessalonians and another brother get Obadiah. Okay, because Esau has lifted himself up like he is the serpent. He, as the Most High, has lifted up himself. Okay, as that serpent, as that healing as that healing, uh, uh, um, uh, what is it? the the symbol of healing, yeah. which is what Yahweh Shai is bringing, healing. Uh, uh, I think there's even a scripture on that. He bringeth healing under his wings or something like 31. that. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I see it thirty one five. Yeah. yeah. You know, and Esau is pushing himself as that through his his advances through his medical industry. You got that, Kwan? Uh, what what exactly? revelation? Revelation 12. Okay, okay. Come, come, come. I got yeah, you. Yeah, Revelation yeah. uh, 12 and verse um, 9, it says, <coughs> And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent. There you go, that old serpent. So Esau is lifting his, himself up as the brass serpent. But really, he's just that old serpent, that old nigga. That nigga from the garden that deceived Eve. That's the same dude. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Yeah, it's not an actual snake in the garden if you didn't know by this time and period in your damn life, you miserable fuck. Okay? That snake in the garden wasn't actually a snake. It was a snake-ass nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. right. like to call each other snakes, but when it comes to Genesis chapter 1, or Genesis whatever chapter, you want to you wanna disregard the snake as an actual fucking snake. It's talking about a man. A wicked man at that. And that same wicked man that, that's known as the snake in the garden is the one telling you to go get his juice, man. Yeah. yeah. The one that's telling you that you're going to live if you go take his venom. And it's not the right one. Because the right, the, 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 the right serpent that he's supposed to be believing on and running to is that brass serpent, Yahweh Shai. Read that again, John 3, 14. Go with Shai, so whoever has it. Uh, John chapter 3. In verse 14, it says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, and we, the brother read the account, and Jake was through out there with them, snurping, them serpents, and fiery serpents. So what they had to do, they were looking for a savior. Go ahead. It says, uh, John 3 and 14, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so, yeah, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So they had to look upon that brass serpent that, he, that, that Moses was holding up. Nowadays, the brass serpent is who? Yahweh Shai. So shall he be lifted up. But Esau is lifting up who? Himself. His goddamn self, man. And you got 
two thirds of our people who were fucking following after this damn devil, man. Getting his juice and wondering why the hell they got ten toes growing out their ass, man. You got that, brother? Yeah. Let's finish that off in Revelation. Con Revelations uh, 12 and verse 9. From the top again. Con Revelations chapter 12, verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Yep, that devil, Satan, get that word that you looked up. Con. Okay. Because it's going it, to, it all comes back <laughs> to to Esau. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, the etymology of the word warlock. It says uh, old English. Uh, traitor, liar, enemy, devil. Mm -hmm. There you go. See? Devil, an enemy. So that old serpent being that warlock, man. <laughs> What's he doing now? They show you that shit in the fucking Harry Potter movies, man. These motherfuckers with the hocus pocus shit, man. And that's what they come at you when you come into these facilities. And your downtowns and your, 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 your corner. You know, the corner the, the corner of a snake shop. Where you go get your... your, your 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 uh your jabs from when you get your snake bites from. Man, I'm not talking about that shit from the Habib snakes uh corner store, man. The snake oil. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about the snake venom. Mm -hmm. Okay, the shit that you think is saving you, it really is not, man. It, which is what we're prophesying against, man. Because we ain't instead of Antipas again in these last days. Go ahead, uh, you want to say that? Yeah, because you uh... Uh, Revelation 21st chapter, he talks about you know, all those going to be burnt up in that second death when these chemical missiles, and when it blows up so-called America, being Babylon the Great, it says sorcerers. When you go into that word sorcerers, go to the pharmacia. You know, so you go to CVS, you go to Walgreens, what do they say? Pharmacy. You know, and what are they saying? That's witchcraft, because it goes uh, back to Egypt. Right. You know, Exodus 7 chapter, uh, them uh, sorcerers and magicians, they, they did left-hand miracles too. But what was stronger? The right hand. You know, the right hand was what? It overcame them surface. You know? So, but again, uh, Esau, uh, he's doing the same thing. That's why it says in Revelation 11 chapter about uh, the dead body shall lie in that great city, uh, which is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. You know? Because Egypt is known for sorcery. They love snakes in ancient Egypt. You know? And then going to the ultimate snake is Esau. So, it's perfect. You know? And it goes into uh, uh, spiritually known as Sodom. Because, of course, physically, you know, the sodomy that goes on in this land, but spiritually going to the spiritual fornication. Mixing and, and mangling doctrines and, and calling it truth, which is also be lies, you know? That's why, Lord, at the end, at the end of this, is going to destroy this whole setup, you know? I got that word sorcerer since you brought it up. Uh, so now it says the conjurer of evil spirits, uh, displacing earlier sorcerer. Um, let me jump down a little bit. It says one who practices magic or sorcery, a magician, a wizard, a necromancer, Talk to the dead. That's what necromancers do. Yeah, they, that's, you know? that's about it. And that's why what was promoted to the children. That's why you got uh, Walt Disney, Disneyland, always pushing these, you know, this witchcraft stuff on. And, and, and Jake, you know, as a kid, watch this stuff and thinking it's cool, you know, because it, it looks like it's power, you know, because it is. It's, but it's left hand side magic, you know. These, these characters are always dark and even have an evil plot, you know. But always, you know, even in their movies, the good guy always wins, you know. And the good guys, well, y'all watch them shine as believers, you know. But again, you know, how, how this thing's all set up is ultimately that ultimate test, you know, was going into, again, uh, you know, we started off going into the, the faithful martyr, uh, and, um, Antipas, you know, we're going against the medical system. You know, that's a heavy part of Esau's agenda, you know, uh, medical uh, martial law he's doing right now. And that's why he's going to start pushing, having these military troops go out and pushing this thing because, again, he wants to try to push his new order and the ball's getting that, that chip in you, you know, going to, again, we're going to shy, uh, shy stigma, you know. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get to 2 Thessalonians 2, I'm sorry, verse 3. Since we were talking about uh, Esau Edom, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Okay, this is Esau Edom, all right? This man's being revealed in his time, and we can see that the Lord has given us the, uh, the visions from on past. To uh to expose this devil, all right. This devil's being exposed as uh as the scriptures has been brought out, or right? as we read up into the history, going into uh that faithful martyr. Okay, the Lord has given us all these things to tell uh who this devil is, all right, and the way he's gonna be moving in these last days. Verse four it says, Who opposeth and exalteth exalteth himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshipped. 
Okay, so he's trying to put himself in that power seat, trying to put himself above Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, by the means of the ways of his miracles, by the ways of his uh, his medicine. Okay, the ways of his um his facilities. All right, his technology. All these things he's putting himself above on high above Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, can I get this real quick for you? Back right. you up, just to back you up, because yeah. you said you mentioned uh, how he uh, pretty much mm -hmm. feel like don't nobody see him, mm -hmm. you know. But most high, Yahweh Bashim Shai, been keeping tracks on him because of the, the the prophecies is uh, revealed to his servants. You know, so now we're able to line it up with, with prophecy real quick. Isaiah 47 and 10, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me. You know, that's the point. You know, Esau even feel like nobody see him, not even the most high, but the whole time he's been measured, he's been weighed. You know, he's been found wanting, man. So now is the time where the Lord has raised up his prophets. And this is all, but the whole time in the background, the Lord is raising up the prophets, you know, to, to, to reveal this devil, man, you know. <laughs> lining up with prophecy that look this is a tip he doing this he get ready to do that and if you're not with it then look you're going to be destroyed you're going to take the tip and you're going to you know it says uh, none seeth me thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thine heart I am and there is none else beside me so that's why he is the only nation that's going to get wiped off you know and he's trying to crucify the Lord again Yeah. you know again with this whole setup you know putting him uh, uh, up to, to, to death. You yeah. Know? And yeah. Brothers quoted earlier is um, Sodom and Egypt, spirits of Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified. Okay. Es Esau is trying to exile the, 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 the Messiah, the true Savior, with his bullshit. With his Jesus juice. And, and you fucking niggas are falling for that shit, man. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing that. What he's doing is, is, is bringing you further away from the Lord. And bringing you closer to him because at the end of the day, when he comes with that karagma, that's that's the ultimate seal right there. That's him telling you, like, look, you done took my juice. You done took my bread. You done took my fun. Now you might as well just get my name on you. Mm -hmm. And that's what you niggas are going to do. You're going to take the name of Esau and put it right up on yourself, man. Mm -hmm. And guess what happens? Revelation 14 and 9 mm -hmm. and 10. You're going to be destroyed. That Ben, what did it say in uh, uh, Revelation 16? Yeah. That it's going to be uh, grievous sores that fall upon him who get the mark of the feet. So them, that that poison is going to start to fucking rot away in you, man. Okay? That that chip, okay, the karagma, that shit going to start to fester inside of you, man. And really destroy you like a true poison. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, quick one. Uh, Second Corinthians. 11 and verse 14, it says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. You know, so, I mean, he disguises himself, you know, as light. You know, he lights synonymous with health, you know, truth, you know, uh, equity, you know, uh, things of, of righteousness, you know. But he disguises himself, he covers himself up, you know, uh, going into that um, covering cast, you know, as he is an angel of light. But again, what he pushes out is the working of Satan, which is ready. You know, uh, going into that temple, you know, we got, they got, the priest got the download from demons, you know, and they would uh, get a vision from the left hand side and saying, oh, you heal, whatever. And it's all, again, going into uh, what we've been going into, how Esau is trying to overcome uh, the authority of Yahweh Bash Mashiach, what he has set up. You know, but it's not going to be to no avail, you know. Um, yes, sir? Oh, let me go back to it. Oh, yeah. Uh, going back in Second Thessalonians 2, uh, verse uh, 4. It says, who opposeth and exalt, exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. It says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? It says, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And this is the time that this devil is being revealed. Okay? It says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Mm -hmm. All right? Because he's already been at work. All right? You look at the times of born in the past with uh, uh, with the martyr uh, Antipas. All right? You can see that the same thing that he was doing uh, four time, he's trying to do it again all in this time in the end. Just more advanced. Just more advanced, more modern. You know, because Esau had mm -hmm. his, his trial and error. Right. You know, he he tried to he tried to bring about his um 
he was playing back then with the ancient Egypt, but it just or the ancient Rome, but it just it it, it, it what t- things weren't right, things weren't fully in place, the world wasn't fully conquered. At that, you know, Esau only knew what he knew back then. At that, as far as, as regions, now he has control of the whole earth. The scriptures tell you who deceived the whole earth. In Revelation chapter, I believe, nineteen it, or twenty. Talks about that he shall be let, let loose a little season to deceive the world. He didn't see the whole world when he was during the, when he was ruling during the time of the Roman Empire, man. But he was still trying to bring about that new world order, but it failed him horribly because he was already at work with his plans. It got delayed because <laughs> of prophecy, but now Esau's back and better and renewed. Wi-Fi. Hey, he got Wi-Fi. <laughs> He got tablets, he got needles, he got all types of shit for you now. He got all types of ways to tell you how to get it, how to how to get it, man. Go ahead. Uh, going back in 2 Thessalonians 2 and uh, 7, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Mm-hmm. Until he be taken out of the way. And he was taken out of the way once. For a little season, and now he's getting ready to be fully taken out of the way by going into slavery and being, being, being destroyed, man, for the atrocities that he's doing upon the earth. Because Esau don't give a damn who's in his way. He wants to accomplish a, a world domination, okay? And again, he's doing that through his medical field, the same as he, as he was doing in Pergamum with that side, okay? With that... With that snake juice, mm-hmm. that snake venom, the same shit that he's spewing out today. Exactly. Go ahead. Yeah, because going into this whole pandemic, this is again try to him try to set himself on that seat as the savior of humanity. You know, mm-hmm. setting up a whole scenario, uh, order of KO, problem, reaction, solution. You know, he's made this whole setup. You know, uh, far as again this, this pandemic going, because mm-hmm. now he wants to what put forth that agenda. Uh, which he began to put in place since the beginning of so-called America. Really, again, going back to the ancient uh, Romans, you know, which now, again, he has the, the, the power to do so. We just read in relation, he had the power uh, to, to push out these things, you know, through, the influence throughout the world, you know, to now where he is right now, where he's getting ready to put chips in people, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's why, again, the Lord, you know, said it, it, and he's going to be, who he, he will let it for let to be taken out of the way. The Lord's going to have to take him out, mm-hmm. you know, because this man is, is, is in the uh, position carnally, to, to, to do it, you know, but uh, in the spirit, man, it's already, it's already been overcome, you know, it says uh, the Lord's going to um, not let him perform his enterprise, you know, because he's going to disappoint his uh, wicked device, you know, it's really a, a lame plan, you know, at the end of the day, you know, but again, this this he got a demon on him, he, 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 he saw, he, they got demons on him, pushing him to do this because the Lord's going to be exalted over this uh, beast, you know. I got something for you. Psalms 10, verse 11, he hath said in his heart, the Most High hath forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. Yep, they, because, you know, because the Lord keeps silence, he thinks there's a vacancy, like, oh, I can fail to see the Most High here, right. so let me be God, right. you know? Mm-hmm. And he, again, he's trying to, uh, artificial everything. I got um, uh, artificial flavors. Every time you look at your back, goddamn labels, such and such and such and such, artificial flavors. What the fuck is artificial flavors? You know, going into uh, these uh, GMOs, Right, I can make a better, a better tree. I can make a better uh, world, you know. And that's why this whole digital thing. I can make my own rules. I'm not worry about yeah. laws, you know, because the way you're is death. That's why you can't, you can't figure out how to live forever because this man's the peak. You, you can't keep the laws, all right. So that's why you're gonna try to make a world where his laws is going to that Georgia Guidestone crap and whatever else he saw worships, like uh, these other books, uh, you know, Satan, whatever the devil, this devil does, drinking baby blood. You know, it's no new thing on the sun, you know. But again, you know, what uh, the Lord has, what's going to happen is, you know, what uh, we brought about earlier about Psalm 47 chapter, uh, the, the, the things he does in the left hand side, is, it's not, it's going to fail him. You know, say he's going to fade the black on him, you know, he's going to be looking for uh, uh, some kind of counsel, he's not going to yeah. be here. Right? Yeah, hey, right. hey, like that, uh, that, that fault, that uh, trust challenge, yeah. you know, whatever that shit called. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, hey, he been, he been catching you all these times, my boy. Yeah. But now, hey, Hey, look, you come to that time, hey, you finna, I know my boy got me, you tweaking. And you finna, <laughs> Jesus, talk. take the wheel. Yeah. 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 Hey, I got something real quick for you, though, brother. Yeah. Hey, speak on this, bro. It's beautiful. 
Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah, that's why I should say, if you're without chast chastisement, you're a bastard. Esau's a bastard. Mm -hmm. he, just, he wasn't corrected, you know. We, when we do some, we get corrected on the spot. Yeah. You know, you, you watch a video, you get cut. Damn, you know, and you repent. But Esau, he says he's not going to have no place for repentance for his murders, the, the yeah. things he did on the left-hand side. He's still going to be proud of himself, okay? And that's why it's going to be fun when the devil gets put in slavery, because he's not going to stop talking shit until he's destroyed, you know? And that's why this chip is going to do the ultimate move on Jay. It's going to show, do you believe in the Lord or do you believe in Esau? Do you believe that Yahweh Shem Yashah can deliver you or do you believe that the so-called white man Esau, even his chip is your salvation? Yeah, that's why we always quote, where there's no vision of people perish. In a temporary situation, that looks like the right decision. Temporary, you know, in the moment, taking the chip looks like the best answer. But the bigger picture is, if you take that chip, you're going to be destroyed, you know? And again, that we have that vision. We know the bigger picture. Blue Spirit, probably our Bashar Shai. That's what we do. That's not the answer. It never worked. Right. It never did work. Never gonna work. You can't overstep Yahweh Bashar Shai. That's right. And he's gonna as soon exalt his name. We're gonna do miracles. The Lord's gonna put his spirit on on the apostle and on down to start doing miracles because this devil's really trying to exalt himself, trying to overstep the Most High. Come down our videos, okay? You know, doing everything he can, try to, to hush, put the mouth, put the put the covering on the Lord's prophets. Yeah, most of the Lord's prophets. You know, you're not going to do that. The Lord is, is, is going to uh, do some beautiful things in these times, man. Because look, bro, we be talking about chariot sightings. Yes. Oh, it, it got took down because of medical misinformation. What the fuck you talking about, bro? You know, and it's, but it's always targeted towards the prophets. But then you got a, a, a 15 million views, okay, on some, on, on, on on some, on some shit. dumb shit, bro. You know? And we like, yo, what the fuck? But once again, like the brother was going into, because the sentence of an evil work is not executed speedily, you devil's like, let me throw this at them. Let me throw this out there. Let me do, bro, you gonna get, bro, I'm telling you, bro, you gonna get to the point, you gonna, bro, you finna max out. You cannot get, like the brother said, you can't step over your how about Shemiah Shai. Job 14 and 5 was written for a reason, man. You got a bell you cannot pass, bro. You see? And that's the, that's the point you devils is coming into, man. That's why you, you, you shaking in your boots. The only person that's supposed to be afraid is you fucking devils, man. All right? That's it. Because you're you not, bro, you you got to face your how about Shemel Shai. That's it, bro. You got to face your how about Shemel Shai. Your how about Shai, the angels coming. Power, man. You got to face true power, bro. You went out to see the whole world. Everybody believe that you, you got. The most often to put you down, bro. That's the times that we're coming to. The so-called white man Esau Edom is found out, man. Okay? You're getting ready to be put down, bro. And everybody that's joined hand in hand with you in this new world order getting ready to be put the fuck down, man. That's the times that we're coming to, man. Hey, that's why he's pushing, all right? He's, he's trying to uh, 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 speed up his uh, enterprise uh, as you see all these things happening. Um, I was looking up, you know, right here. Um, on the the Truman the yeah, the Truman Tribune, all right. This is going into uh, this new technology that this devil is trying to push out even more, and it's ushering in what this uh, uh, this uh, the Emerald TV system. Okay, it says uh, Bill Gates and the MIT unveil uh, the quantum dot technology to mark children's skin so that they can be scanned for the thing. Uh, and on their uh, compliance, all right. So this is the new technology that this devil is trying to bring out. And he's trying to. This is what uh, basically a way to usher in what the MOTB, all right. And um, we see this is the devil's uh, yeah. plans. All right, he's pushing. All right, and he's getting a little sloppy with it. But you can see that this is all gearing towards to go to the MOTB. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Revelation yeah. thirteen. All this for for a uh, common code. You know. Right. And again, it's an agenda. All the things to fix mm -hmm. on earth, you want to fix. A common cold, which you just take normal things, ginger, to, uh, garlic, you know, get some rest, drink some water, mm -hmm. you know, natural immunity, which you don't do no studies on the natural immunity, and well, there was a, there was a study. Uh, natural immunity is, is a whole bunch more times over better than taking these juices, you know, but that's not pushed on the forefront. Right. Uh, healthy diet, these things are not pushed on the forefront. It's what worship me, mm -hmm. you know, and again, that's why we know this man is a devil, you know, because how he's moving. You watch the body move. You know, it's, it's their actions, you know, all the intentions, I want to help, I want to heal. 
No, man, this his man's act this man's action, he's trying to again he's trying to push that new order, you know. But I got something we can probably close on. Uh, this is uh, Psalm twenty-three, which we shall all know is precept. Psalm twenty-three verse four says, Yea, though I walk through the valley valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You know, so the staff, the rod and staff of Yahweh Bash Shai, that's what comforts us. Not the, I'm comforted now because I got seventeen thousand juices. Now I'm not going to catch it no more. But you still catching it. You people are the most most sick people taking these things. Okay, with the booster shot. Now you got to get boosters. You know what is this stuff? And this this stuff is popping out of the world. Where does this stuff come from? Where do you have the resources? And all these soldiers going on around the world. You have all uh, 500, 500 million juices ready to go. You know right. to be distributed. Right. You know because again this man is playing the whole time. Puts it in movies. You know, that's him boasting himself against the Lord, saying, yeah, who's going to stop me? That's what the brother's talking about. Who's seeing me? You know? And, and that's why you have to, you know, go into certain these symbols and things like that. We open up on the rod and the staff. You know, it's it's, it's spiritual. The highest level of power is spiritual. And this man is spiritually wicked, you know? But again, going to what the Lord, uh, he raised up his prophet, said it. They stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them, going to the elites, because the right-hand side always overpowers the left-hand side. Always in the movie, the left hand looks like the, the bad guys in the wind. He has a plot, you know, everything's falling to his, his plan, so to say, and it gets fumbled, you know, and it gets taken over. You know, it's the greatest show watching play out here on the planet Earth. Uh, Esau and his technology got quantum this, quantum that, mm -hmm. right? We're just men reading on the highways and byways through our phones, props on against you, you know? And, and again, that's how the Lord's going to be magnified through his men, the lowly, the meek. This fire of Bay and Yahweh Bosh and Shabbat going to overcome all this stuff. That's right. You know, that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's right. all these things going on around the world, all the chaos and all the confusion. So we have the we have the comfort because we have the truth, you know. So we don't have to run and go to some, you know, uh, demon man to, to get healed. We, the outside is our opposition, you know. We praise him and we call upon him, to, uh, you know, in Yahweh Bash and and that's our that's our master plan. We believe in the Lord. Okay, we read about that fire servant. We looked it up. Okay, you know, who, those that believe on him, they're gonna be healed, you know. And that's us. We need to get new bodies, you know. We need new bodies, you know. And that's what we're gonna get, you know. The uh, Philippians tells you about that, you know. That's right. We shall receive like uh, to his glorious body. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, I got one real quick. This is uh, Revelation chapter 2 and uh, verse 25. It says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And we have the healing juice. Exactly. The spirit and power of Yahweh Shimon Shai. We have that already. So we holding fast on to that, man. Those of you that are going to Esau for, for, uh, for something that you think you don't have, which is life. You seeking on to the to the to the master of disaster exactly. for life, then you're gonna be through because you're not holding on to what you already have, which is the life that you've been given through Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, which you only given life when this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is breathed onto you. Okay? And it says, and he that overcometh, you see, there goes the key, and he that overcometh all these things that are happening around the world, mm -hmm. that Esau is propagating. And keepeth my works unto the end. The works of what? Yahweh Shai. To him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of potter shall they be broken to shivers. as Even as I received of my father. So Yahweh Shai got in rule over the nations. And we're going to get rule on. Unto the nations. Um, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We keep his. Hold fast, we hold fast onto what we've been given joint through heirs. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, joint heirs. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what we've been given through Yahweh Shai on this side is life through his spirit. Because with our spirit, we through. We dead. <laughs> we, 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 we don't got tuberculosis uh, vaccines. We don't got the chicken pox vaccine. <laughs> Jake would have been out here getting the COVID vaccine if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai. Hey, there he goes. Cats out the bag. <laughs> Flag the video now, Esau. <laughs> you know, but what we've been given through the spirit and power, how about Shimon Shai is life, man. And we have to hold fast onto that. Because if not, the life will be taken from you. Exactly. If you go to the wrong man. You know? Go ahead. Huh? Yep, uh, this is a good one. Uh Wisdom of Solomon 16, verse 12. Wisdom of Solomon 16, verse 12, it says, For he was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health, but thy word, O Lord. Which healeth all things. So the words of the Lord is what brought us back to health. It says the spirit quickening means to make alive. The flesh profiteth nothing. So anything you try to do to the flesh to try to save the life, it's 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 in vain, you know. 
So again, going into what the, the word is what made us alive, quicken us the truth, you know, and that's what set us free, you know, and eventually again, going to the Lord's promise, we're going we're gonna to be changed. It says flesh and blood should not inherit the kingdom. So again, you get these jabs, you get these boosters, hey, you're getting the chip, you're not going to enter to the kingdom. Uh, two thirds are going to enter and being born again through a man of the Lord, but who knows when they're going to come back. All right, but it talks about blessed are those who had the first uh, uh, first part in the rest of the, uh, resurrection. Are we paraphrasing? You know, because those are the ones that overcame. You know, again, we overcome by just conquer believing. death. Exactly, conquer death. That's the that's the last thing the Lord says when we conquer, which is death. You know, which you already did that. All right. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's what we're yeah. just waiting for our time. Hey, to back you up. That's why we, like the brother said, we this is life. You know, we're we're, we're living, bro. We actually living through your house, my son. We're living through your outside. The, the sacrifice that your outside gave, bro. That's why we're able to uh, continue uh, hold a baton, if you will, man. The spiritual baton, which is what prophesying, man. You know, telling you that this is gonna happen. This is going because this is your house, shy, bro. Mm -hmm. This is, bro. What are we telling you? We're not telling you something that we gonna do. We are telling you what your house, shy, about your house, my son, shy is doing, bro. Which is fulfilling this word, man. <laughs> okay, the chip is here. Okay, World War Three simultaneously. Jacob's trouble on uh, almost, uh, bro. Right, hey, bro, <laughs> bro. If you can't see Jacob's trouble, bro, you tweaking. Okay, hey, uh, uh, the men of the Lord get ready to do mir miracles, man. Okay, bro, it, bro, the prophecies, bro, just ringing. If you can't hear it, bro, you, you not, you not fit to be saved, bro. You know, e everything is, bro. Everything is, everything is fit. Ready for your house shot to return, bro. Okay? All right? So, bro, at the end of the day, we're going to keep doing these lessons. We're going to keep doing what we got to do. All right? But, bro, if you can't see it, it's not for you, bro. It's not for you, bro. All right? It's 144000 That's it. You know? I got one uh, quick three step. Oh, this is the book of Jeremiah 33, verse 6. It says, Behold, I will bring it health and cure... And I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first. All right. So Yahweh Shemir Al Shai, all right, his hill, all right, that hope them, those hopeful elect, uh, uh, um, uh, elected souls. Okay. And. We see that uh, by how Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai has uh, brought us back and returned us, all right, into his good graces. So well, you see the rest of the other um, nations, of, uh, the, the, rest of, the rest of the nations of Israel, all right, they're basically they threw, okay, the Lord had forsaken them, all right, and they had forsaken their God, their power, okay, so this is why the Lord had what? Had shown mercy unto what? The remnant, all right, because they are the ones all right, who cried and pleaded, all right, for them to be healed, all right, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has healed them, and he's going to return back the captivity, all right, of what? Of the uh, the hope of elect, all right, and bring us back, all right, to our own land. Um, it says, uh, and I will bring it health and cure, and that's what we're looking for, okay, and the Lord has uh, cured us, all right, well, he's not going to uh, cure the rest of these other uh, people that saw him, he's just going to have to destroy them. That's it. That's beautiful, bro. Yeah, yeah, so, hey, man, that's it, man. Uh, Psalm 37, chapter, rest in the Lord, you know, and wait patient for him, you know. Don't don't fret yourself because of a uh, man that causes wicked advice to pass, you know. Uh, them that pro uh, pretty much uh, that are prospering right now because they're going to be taken down, you know. The Lord's going to set up those that are on low, mm -hmm. on high, you know, because they believed on, um, they believed on Yahweh Bashem Shai. So that's pretty much it, man. So with that, those words be edifying. Uh, as always, we give all praises. Hey, I was thinking about how that, uh, the prophet, uh, he was just a little Is there anybody else with me? And he was like, look, I, I reserve 7,000 men. That's us, bro, you know? We reserved man, for this for this very uh, time man, right here, man. You know. Did it come on? Yeah. So I want to watch a little bit more. Yeah. Check to see the live stream.
still on? GMS bloopers. You see me talking? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Esau, what? What's up, Esau? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs>